I need you to Google one more thing. How do go Super Saiyan? Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. Just last thing. Could you Google how to go Super Saiyan? You sure? You can go back in for round two? Nah, I'm good. All right, hey. best oh. Chris has three axes now. Nah, I'm good. All right, hey. best oh. Chris has three axes now. Hey, we, we gave him a chance. Wait, but that's not all. Believe it or not, another one of Mr. Beast's colleagues got caught multiple times vaping on camera. This is unbelievable. It's almost like he's trying to get caught or something. Not sure why he would allow this to be posted, but maybe he doesn't care if something bad happens. It's hard to tell, but definitely a bit crazy. At number 5, we have Mr. Beast giving away fake money. A few years ago, Mr. Beast actually got exposed by Keemstar for giving away fake money. Mr. Beast is well known for doing challenges and donating money to his subscribers, but did you know that his giveaways have been deemed to be fake? Mr. Beast tried to cover it up with an interview with Keemstar, and it's honestly pretty hard to tell whether he was actually faking his giveaways. Let us know down in the comment section what you think. Two days ago, Mr. Beast uploaded a video titled, I opened a free bag where people came into the bank and Mr. Beast gave them money. But if you zoom closely, one of the dollars says motion pictures on it. Now guys, I know what's going on with this and why he did it, but so many of you guys have been spamming this to me. I had to cover this story. In fact, I'm going to call Mr. Beast now so he can explain himself. Now listen, everyone is spamming me that you're giving away fake money and your videos are fake. What is going on with that? Okay, so I assume you're referring to the new video where I uh, gave away money and opened a bank, that video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, I mean, just here, here's the gist of it, right? I, I rented a bank and I bought a billboard saying free money and I put up advertisements saying free money at this bank. Didn't say it was me, just, you know, that there's free money at this bank. So I got hundreds of people to show up. And just long story short, you know, if you have hundreds of people in the location and you're just handing out tons of money, if you're handing out actual real money, there's safety and security risks. Like, imagine when I hand someone 10 grand, they walk out the other door and all these people say they have 10 grand. Like, just as a responsible person, I can't do that. Right. So in this video in particular, um, we just use prop money, right? Which look completely real. There's no difference. So when I hand the money, they have authentic reactions. And these people, I didn't know, they're just random. They came from the ad. They have reactions, they cry, we hand them 10 grand. And then right when they get off camera, as they're about to leave, uh, we had someone stop them and be like, hey, that's prop money. Uh, here's an actual check for that. So you're not walking around with $10,000 in real cash. Because in that video, uh, I gave out six figures worth of money. Like that was a freaking massive video. At number four, there's an interesting video from popular Minecraft YouTuber Preston, who actually ran into Mr. Beast in public. What a crazy coincidence. Preston and Mr. Beast are actually really good friends. So it wasn't super awkward for the two, but it was crazy to see them run into one another. Anyway, you won't believe what happens when they run into each other because it was so unexpected and really made their vlogs take a wild turn. Look at, oh, look at, the, that look at these guys. Look at these guys. If you didn't know, like, Mr. Beast, he's, he's got a lot of Minecraft subscribers. Yeah, do you have a fifth channel now for vlogging? Yeah, we do, actually. No, this is only for the seventh What's this guy going to stop? <laughs> we don't stop. All right, so if you could say anything Preston's viewers about Preston. About Preston? Without Does it have him to be Preston? Not necessarily. It could be about anything. You can just tell his viewers anything okay. you want. I need you guys to subscribe to PewDiePie because T Series is about to pass on that. Like, this is really important to me, guys. Like, please. They're, they're, they're on 64 million. At number three, we have Mr. Beast cursing. As many of us, if not all of us, know, Mr. Beast is a family-friendly channel. He never swears or promotes anything that is not suitable for young audiences. However, in this instance, we found a clip of him actually swearing on camera. Now, the thing about this one is that he was on Logan Paul's podcast, so technically, it wasn't actually his own channel. I guess we can let him off the hook for this this one time because it wasn't his own channel. Literally, if you just decided to do so. The beauty 
least if you don't give a f uh, it's a lot easier. Yeah, true. Watch time, you you got it down. You got me hooked. Let's f uh, go. You got me hooked. Literally, that's the best compliment you could ever give me. Bro, Thanks. my friend. Uh, I'm gonna get a f uh, uh, put on I'm glad you asked. Also, am I looking at this camera or that one? That, oh, no, oh is that guy. That one. Let's uh, go. So, with Buried <laughs> Alive, better content if it's glass, so you can see through it. And that's what uh, with me. It's because, like, the entire coffin was glass, minus the corners. I mean, just in content, bro. Like, you have so many different oh, businesses. Business. Yes, yeah, let's talk about that. Uh, well, let's say you lose money in a video. You're like, well, now now it's like a major vertical for you. It's, it's Well, and here's the way I look at it. If something like uh, Five Guys, or, like, there was, like, some, like, Bob's Burger Palace we just walked past <laughs> on our way over because I don't want to put them on blast. And then my friend Tyler's sitting behind them. So I instantly am like, this uh, fell asleep. So I grabbed the wheel. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. And I'm just kind of like keeping the car going straight. And I just yell, wake the uh, f up. And I'm like yelling. Yeah. And he's not waking up. And a few seconds go by. And then Tyler in the back seat literally punches him in the head. It's with like a console in the middle. So I'm like barely grabbing it. And I just like, Tyler, I don't think this uh, is going to wake up. Number two, Jake Paul and Mr. Beast. Here's another instance in which Mr. Beast was met with a pleasant surprise. In this clip, we have a video posted by Jake Paul, where Jake randomly pulled up on Mr. Beast without any sort of invitation. This must have been such a surprise for Mr. Beast, and he had no idea that this would be happening. I can't imagine how scared he was, because I can guarantee that with his fame, having someone pull up to your house would be ex- uh, <laughs> To sell your house! <laughs> <laughs> We're literally here to sell your house. Is that Jake Paul? Yeah. Why are you here, bro? Yo, What's up, guys? Yeah, well, next time you come over, bring some pizza. Okay, we'll bring some pizza. Should we chill? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And finally, guys, to wrap up things here at number one, we have an exposing video showing Mr. Beast actually rigging his own game for his viewers. During his Squid Game series, he was exposed five different times for allowing the girls to have an advantage. This is extremely unfair for the contestants, as they were all competing for a lot of money. I can't imagine how mad they would be after this happened. But anyways, check it out. So as you can see, the boys have to eat oatmeal. Even though they're excited, oatmeal still oatmeal, and the girls got a nice hibachi cooked dinner, so they get better food than the boys. Also, they put this alarm in the boys' room to annoy them. The boys and the girls both had to solve 100 Rubik's Cubes, and the only guy who knew who to solve Rubik's Cube in the boys' room was paid $10,000 to finish, and then Mr. Beast went ahead and told the girls that they did that, so they hopefully they'd win, and just listen to the clip. The boys were blowing you out of the water. I paid the one guy who knew how to solve them to leave. Now if you don't win, that was all for nothing. So win for me. You're almost halfway done. The girl so you heard it from Mr. Beast himself. Clearly he wants the girls to win. I don't know why he is rigging this competition for the girls, but it's clear. Now, because they still lost, they got their circle, you know, put together. And then they put these briefcases in front of the boys. They want the boys to get them because there's clearly nothing. And they put like 10 briefcases for the boys because the boys keep grabbing them and getting eliminated. They're, they're knocking the boys down because they're winning. And they just do this over and over and over and over again. And as you see, when they do it for the girls, they only do it one time. So the boys keep getting eliminated making it closer and closer and when the girls do it it's only once which is cheating because they're not giving the same opportunities to the boys and the girls and this guy just got pushed he got pushed out by his own teammate you could see that he was extremely pissed and yeah now the next one is the red circle closes the circle in half and as you can see the girls are already closed in half because they lost the competition because they weren't good enough for the robux cube and the boys immediately press it and as you can see their circle is going to get closed in half but when the girls when it's put in the girls room they're not given the same opportunity all right well i'm gonna go grab spray paint any of you press this no. okay good the so, so instead of leaving the you know thing out there they just immediately knock it down because they don't want the girls to lose because they know they're already losing and then also the girls convince the boys to use a drone so they need to use the drone and the boys aren't to get a spy on the numbers to see what the boys are at but obviously girls don't know how to fly drones and it runs and, and dies but still it's definitely cheating if you ask me i'd say mr beast and his team cheated for the girls because they wanted the girls to win 